What's going on YouTube? It is Satoshi here and I'm back with another Digimon Digital Monsters video. And today we are going over what are the best AOE Digimon to use in Digimon Digital Monsters. So let's start this by first starting as Daemon X. Right now I am Ice Daemon X, but it makes no difference with the skins, just the uh, typing. So that doesn't really matter. Um, but I'm going to show you guys, this is just my list for the five best, um, going down in the list. So first let's start with Daemon X. Okay. So the reason that I put Daemon X as the fifth best, meaning, you know, the worst of the five, um, is that his first move is his best. Oh, snap. Uh, uh, get away from me! Jesus Christ. But his fifth move is his best. Uh, it's just like a fire breath and it has pretty nice range. Um, but it doesn't have like super duper, like, it's not super range. Like, these over here did not get hit. So, you know, that's why it's the fifth. His next one, it has more range, but less. It's less wide than the first one, so it, it kind of balances out. So it's pretty decent though. Um, you can definitely farm with this. It's not terrible at all. It's still in the top five, of course. So that's why I put him at a at a five. Um, now on to the next one. Okay, for the next Digimon, it is Dianamon. I am mutant Dianamon right now. That's why I look different. But same thing um, for uh, Z is right there. Um, but for her move, she has two moves. One is not really AOE, kind of. It's kind of AOE, but sometimes it's not. But um, so the reason I like Di Dianamon is that she does like a lot of damage with her AOE, so that's why I use her. And the AOE is also like super, it can reach like super far. So this is her AOE move. And it just hits everyone that's over here. Oh my God, Z just uh almost one shot at me. Get away from me, yo. Uh, but that is her first move and I like it because of the range and the damage. Unfortunately, she has like one AOE move, but you know, at least the cooldown is, well, it, it's, it's all right. It's like five seconds. But her second move, for example, is a random hit of meteors that'll come down. If I see him, hold up. Oh, no, not that's the first move. Uh, the first move is just like a strike of energy that'll only hit the first like few that's in front of you. It does a decent amount of damage, but you know, it's not AOE for real. Um, so this is the meteor move. It just randomly hits uh, random Digimon. It's all right, but if you're not trying to hit the boss like Z, I wouldn't recommend using the third move. Um, and it also hits their location. So if they're moving, it kind of like, that's why it's number four. Um, in terms of being better than Daemon X, I think it's only better because the damage is way you're gonna kill way more of these with Dianamon than um, Daemon X, um, and you're gonna kill them faster. But, like, yeah, that's that's the only reason I have Dianamon over Daemon X. Okay, on to the third Digimon AoE is Ordinimon. The reason I put her at third is because she has two long range AOE and she also has a third AOE and I think a fourth AOE. I think the last one is actually fourth, I mean an AOE too. So, but the reason why I don't put her as two or one is because she can't really take that many hits. So unless like you're super strong um, and I don't, she does pretty decent amount of damage. So let me do the first move and it basically hits all of them. I'm gonna be able to tank just because of my health, but if you use like two to three billion, you might not be able to take take all this. But it is back to back and you can kill them fairly fast. So, you know, this is why I put her at 
three she could be a two it's really like up in the air with the next one so yeah i'm gonna just say ordinimon is three to two you can change the three or two out for the next one but yeah so that's what i suggest as a as the third actually i'm killing them pretty quickly so yeah she's pretty good And these are, and this is just her first and second move that I'm do, using. Her third move. See, yeah, she's she's pretty good on damage. Okay, she's she's pretty good on damage. Um, her fourth is kind of AOE, but it's kind of not at the same time. Yeah, it is AOE. Um, but you know, it's targeted AOE. So if something is close to the thing that they're hitting, um, it's gonna hit it. So moving on let's go to the second all right for the second digimon on the list is xmon x he wouldn't be a second one on this list if it wasn't for the update but the update made him like way stronger so the fourth move is the best aoe move and i'm just going to show you the aoe on this one and the damage so let's see yeah and all of them are like half or under half of health so and that's not the f only aoe there's also this aoe and i just completed my quest and you know it, it hits them pretty good and then we got this aoe but it's kind of like a beam but it also is aoe and then you got the dash i don't really use the dash but you know um you know the aoe kind of sucks on that so it's between this and ordini one um but i I also choose Examon because it also is more tanky than D um, or Dinimon. If you can't really take something that is uh, tank that many hits, if you're not that like strong defensive wise, then I would choose Examon X. But if you was more like you didn't really worry about that, then you could just use a uh, Ordinimon, and I think I think Ordinimon does more damage though, uh, quicker. So you know. It's really up in the air between Examon X and Ordinimon. Um, but yeah, if I was a higher level and I could take hits, I'd probably choose Ordinimon in the end. So that leads down for uh, number two. Now off to number one, and a lot of you probably know what number one really is. And now for the fifth strongest, uh, well, not I wanna say strongest, but the fifth best AOE person in the game once again, this is all just my opinion, okay? This is not like, you know, forum based, you know, I didn't even look at no forums for this. But the fifth best for me is Zed. Couple of reasons. One, he is super tanky, like, um, yeah, he even says tank, so he can actually take a hit. Two, he uh, stuns, like for all his moves, he stuns um, characters. So, you know, uh, if you're like in a group and you're, like trying to beat a strong boss like he actually stuns him for like a quick second for each move so that is super beneficial and he does pretty decent damage like look at his damage boom and it's like it's over time so like they're still getting damage so you know it's it's just a bunch of nice little benefits um but like straight up raw damage i wouldn't say z is the strongest but he is the most uh, hacks wise beneficial. So that's why I say, you know, get Z if you're like a low level um, and you can't take hits and you know, you wanna hack some um, NPCs. So, you know, that is the the ranking that I would put for my personal ranking um, for him. Uh, strongest in terms of damage of the AOE people, I'll probably pick uh, I probably pick Ordinimon. The strongest for uh I'm saying damage and AoE, not just damage. Um the strongest for you know tanking and AoE would probably be Zed. And yeah, so if you guys like this video and want to see more more Digimon Digital Monsters content, you know, have any more questions or you know, you, you know, I might start a Let's Play soon. So, you know, tune in for that. You know, like, comment, subscribe. And thank you guys for, you know, watching this video. So, peace.